Part E. Tobacco mosaic virus affects many species of plants. Figure 3 shows a leaf infected with TMV. Okay, so we've got a leaf here. It's yellow patches where TMV has destroyed chloroplasts. So what does it tell us? TMV destroys chloroplasts in the leaf. Explain how this would affect the growth of the plant. And it's worth three marks in total. So one, two, three. And an explain, so we're going to describe plus add some detail. So the first thing is this thing it destroys chloro chloroplasts. So chloroplasts. I'm going to add some information here, contain chlorophyll. Okay, so we know um, chloroplasts contain chlorophyll. Uh, which are needed for, I know they're needed for photosynthesis, which are needed, which is needed, sorry, which is needed for photosynthesis. So if we've got less of it, if we've got chloroplasts, we've got less chlorophyll, so less chlorophyll means less photosynthesis can take place and if less photosynthesis takes place that means the plant will be um, will be absorbing uh, will be sorry we'll be making less less glucose This photosynthesis would mean less glucose produced. Okay, and this might be a chance where I really want to show off here. I know I'm confident about photosynthesis, so I'm just going to make sure the examiner knows that I know what it is, so I know that carbon dioxide plus water turns into oxygen plus glucose. Okay, so I'm going to write down the equation for uh, photosynthesis as well. And remember, this, this equation is just the same as respiration, only backwards the arrow goes the other way for respiration. Okay, so plants use photosynthesis to make glucose, which they then use in respiration. Okay, hope that helps.